Good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal, here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Tuesday, 21st of August 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where do we stand? Where is this market going at present? Basically, overnight, we've had Mr. Trump's comments regarding a weaker dollar, uh, certainly stating that he's unhappy with the Fed and the rate, the way in which the interest rates are going, and therefore, uh, and also obviously China attempting to devalue its currency in order to uh, negate the uh, the tariffs, etc. So he certainly has gone on a rant, and again, that sent the US dollar down. Whether or not that's going to be sufficient enough, especially given the fact we've got Jackson Hole this week, whether the uh, Fed will obviously refer to uh, emerging markets and the chaos in Turkey and so on and so forth to obviously halt a, a rise in the uh, in the actual interest rate and again uh, exerts further pressure on the uh, Jackson Hole meeting as well. Now dollar is certainly is lower and therefore commodities moving higher which in turn obviously has sent equities higher as well to a large extent. Now whether or not that can sustain itself is another question in and of itself especially yesterday given the fact that German Bundesbank uh, lowered growth forecasts. Now with a rising euro that certainly is going to hurt, hurt European equities. Okay, so uh, let's see exactly where we stand now in terms of the uh, economic data then let's just uh, uh, review that as well again given the fact that the economic data has come out uh, this morning really of just CHF really imports exports uh, nothing fantastic slightly weaker picture there uh, in terms of the uh, public sector net borrowing uh, certainly is uh, a weaker number there from that perspective uh, also in terms of CBI data that came in weaker as well Overall, now we're looking for Red Book Index, and uh, we've got the uh, Global Dairy Auction as well to watch out for. And we've got crude, crude oil stock uh, data as well, so keep an eye on that. In terms of Asian markets overnight, Asian markets overall uh, were are higher, Shanghai higher, what 1.3% Hang Seng, and then the Nikkei as well. Okay, so let's uh, look at the uh, technical picture now, given the fact that the markets are trading higher today. German DAX certainly rebounding quite powerfully, given the fact that. Uh, uh, the uh, weaker numbers came in yesterday as well. Bundesbank lowering growth forecasts as well, and also a stronger euro. So, quite impressive uh, rally there. Uh, we are now coming into potential resistance. We've exceeded the Fib 75%. Uh, the next level to watch now is going to be this 12420 level. Then you're looking at 12460. Potential support equals resistance here around the 12500. So, watch out there. In terms of the French CAC, again, that certainly is being helped by commodities to a large extent. So, watch out for the potential thrust there. Any thrust tire, you're looking at resistance at the 5440 zone, which is a 200 MA. So watch out there. Okay, so again, certainly seems that Mr. Trump's talking down the dollar certainly is helping uh, equities globally at present. In terms of the full C100, now this is probably the lackluster index. Again, whether or not it's to do with the uh, the debt data that came out. Again, something that's starting to come to contemplate. But we are now coming into potential support, looking to bounce. Uh, you're looking at resistance now on the FTSE at around 7600 and the next one is 7615. You do have a resistance here but that failed to hold last time. So again, you're looking at 7600 and 7615 on the upside. So watch out for potential resistance above on the FTSE. Okay. Daily chart on the FTSE is quite interesting because we are now threatening this uh, negative trend line or negative uh, candle here as you can see. Uh, if we negate 7610, uh, you are looking for a potential short squeeze. And you're looking for a potential move higher now given the fact that dollars fallen and commodities moving higher it certainly seems to be the day for the dollar certainly to uh, for a dollar induced rally on the FTSE 100 index okay so watch out there in terms of euro stocks now i've been stopped out on this one uh, again like i said i didn't anticipate mr trump's comments the euro stock certainly is running as you can see here uh, we are now coming into potential resistance so given the fact that euros come up to above 1.15 that certainly is negative for the export side of the equation so watch out there. You do have resistance here at 3423. Watch out there in terms of resistance and 10 minute chart as well. Certainly should portrays that. You can clearly see this resistance here at 23423. That breaks and you're looking at 3434. So watch out in terms of resistance there. You do have the unfilled gap below as well. So watch out below. Uh, unfilled gap is at 3370. I was expecting that to close and obviously that hasn't been Mr. Trump's comments. Certainly triggering the potential short squeeze. Okay, so. Uh, Keep an eye on European equities, and that's the uh, basically status quo uh, in terms of the markets. Again, obviously, emerging market concerns are always in the background. We've got Jackson all this week as well. Uh, Turkish contagion story certainly seems to have died down for now, but keep an eye on the uh, on the actual markets itself uh, for any uh, additional information. Now, in terms of the S and P, this is an interesting one. At the moment, we're currently trading at three uh, two eight sixty two. Now, that's the key resistance at two eight sixty three. 
Can we break through that and hit that gap fill at 2872? That's the question, okay? If we hold that resistance and we reverse, good question as well. So again, let's just trade what we see. Uh, let's trade, let's react. Stop losses just above 2863 if we do break through. And let's see how the market reacts there. On that note, please be sure to visit uh, Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. Download the, uh, the latest app and be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.